Now that we have completed our test, we can go back to the main page here. And if we go to File, Print, we do have a custom printout here. So we did everything on the right ear today. So we have your audiogram, um, your air conduction, bone conduction. If we did any type of masking, um, all of your masking data would be down here as well. Uh, we did uh, an SRT at 20 dB in the right ear, left ear word recognition percentage at this specific dB level, and the MCL and UCL dB level here. This was done in word recognition. And then we have our quicksend and our legend. If we don't do quicksend, this box will not be here. And also, if we go to this little notepad right here, we can type in chart notes. And so now, if we go to File, Print, all of our chart notes will be at the bottom and they'll carry over to another page so you don't have to write chart notes anymore. At the top here, we have the patient information. So test, test is the patient name with a timestamp and date. We have customized this to have MedRex Hearing Center, address. So you can do that if you go from the main page here. You can go to File, Page Setup. You can actually type in a logo text here. So some providers will put this as their name or maybe a holiday. And then if you go to more, you actually have two columns to put all the different information in. So you can put logos, you can put a signature line. Um, so you have customization. And once all this is set, it's going to be on every single printout until you change it. Going back to the main title page, we have our back button in the bottom right hand corner. Once we are done with audiometry, you can always hit exit here. And as long as you open it up through NOAA, this prompt is going to come up to save the session to NOAA. So if I were to hit yes, there's our session from today. Now, if you don't have NOAA and you're under audiometry and you finish your test, you're going to have to remember to go to File, Save, and create a folder on the desktop that says audiograms, and then put the patient name in there and everything will be alphabetical. If you don't remember to save and you hit exit, you're gonna lose your entire test. If you don't have NOAA, make sure to go to File, Save.